You're watching a Newsmax special with climate expert John Casey about his new bestseller, Dark Winter, how the sun is causing a 30-year cold spell. Today's Congress is full of folks who stubbornly and automatically reject the scientific evidence about climate change. They will tell you it is a hoax. Anyone who confronts the dogma of the day will find out that, like all other prior instances in history, uh, you get ignored first and then you get attacked. It's pretty rare that you'll encounter somebody who says the problem you're trying to solve simply doesn't exist. And it has always been a confrontation between establishment science and the mavericks that come along that say, hold it a minute, you need to consider something else. In recent years, a handful of intrepid climate experts began seeing inconsistencies in the data supporting the global warming theory. Though all of these scientists agree that the planet had been warming for the past 200 years, the most recent climate data indicates the Earth's warming has stopped and temperatures are now either stable or cooling. One member of Congress actually says the world is cooling. Recently, Britain's Telegraph newspaper headlined the biggest science scandal ever. The paper reported that scientists had been caught tampering with recorded temperatures, from ones that showed a clear cooling trend to that of a warming one. There's also a summary for policymakers. It's put together by policymakers, and in many cases, they go back to the scientists and say, can you change the science document to match our summary? We want to beef this up. We want to make it look worse. That's not the way science is done. What we have to remember is climate changes and climate fluctuates. And really, while we think humans have an impact on our environment, which we do, the global climate system is still far too complex to be simply affected by one change in one small component of it. Climate experts like Dr. LeGates and John Casey think many experts are cooking the books. Climatologists challenging the global warming consensus believe the scientific data proves them right and shows that the sun's sunspot activity plays a much greater role in the Earth's climate than man-made carbon emissions. After years of research, Casey has published his book, Dark Winter, based on his relational cycle, or RC, theory. He says records of temperatures and atmospheric CO2 during the past 650,000 years indicate that Earth's temperature always rises first, followed by a rise in carbon dioxide by several hundred years. The warmer Earth uh, gives birth to more vegetation, which in turn has a more active carbon cycle. And so as a result, carbon dioxide may in fact follow the temperature change as opposed to being a leading indicator. Published papers clearly, clearly shows that it is always the temperature rises first by at least several hundred years to a few thousand years. And then the carbon dioxide curve responds and it follows. So. It, it is a very clear scientific consensus on this issue. It's very important to understand that we were, in fact, in a state of global warming right up until the middle of the 2000s. But then it stopped. It stopped because the sun stopped it. It stopped on the sun because the sun's 206-year cycle reversed direction from warming to cooling. That's the big picture. It's nothing more complicated than that. And for those of us who follow the sun, that's why we're so encouraged with the reliability of these solar cycles. And I encourage everyone who used to believe the man-made global warming story, like I used to believe, to look into solar cycles, to look at solar activity, and for sure, for the next few years or a few decades, please follow what's happening with the sun. And here we have the Northern Hemisphere, the tropics, and the Southern Hemisphere. Northern Hemisphere has been, as you can see, the 2003 to 2007 period where the peak occurred. It's been meandering, no change. Now see, this is what we were talking about. This is the secondary peak in the current 11-year solar cycle, which is more powerful than the first peak. Now, what that represented, unbeknownst to most people studying climate, is that the sun is sending us a signal that it's about to go into deep cold phase. This is a crucial signal from the sun that absolutely no one in the mainstream media is aware of. And in fact, most people in the scientific community are not aware of. But it's one that uh, I found and wrote up the significance of this important event in the last Global Climate Status Report. But this is the crucial signal that we've been waiting for all along. 
In the next segment, John Casey reveals how politicians have forced scientists to conform data to their global warming agenda. Make sure you get your copy of John Casey's bestseller, Dark Winter, available at bookstores everywhere. Or check out our free offer at Newsmax.com slash Dark Winter. Millions of Americans are turning to Newsmax TV on Direct TV 349, Dish 223, and Verizon Fios 115. Online at NewsmaxTV.com, Roku, or Google TV with our free app from your iPhone or Android. So watch Newsmax TV now.